Hey, what's up, guys? Bark back with another obscure mics for you with an obscure mic for you. It is the CAD GXL 2400 as requested by J viewer JW4Z something. Let's all work better on getting uh, YouTube names that make more sense. Can we do that? We can do that. J, are you with me? I think you're with me. I feel like the guy on that poster, that Robin Williams movie. Uh, what, what's it called? The Army one, where the front, he's like, you know, something like this. I think he even has a microphone in front of him, maybe. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's level up just a little. So anyways, I've got the CAD GXL 2400 in the studio with me. It was requested by JW Bow. And I picked this up off of Reverb, I believe, for $35. $35. Small price to pay for a microphone. Uh, let's take a look at the GXL 2400 right now. It is a uh, metal bodied condenser microphone, about the same size as a Scarlett uh, CM25. Short in stature, uh, metal mesh grill with a little give to it, like they all do, and no bells and whistles. So, this microphone right off the bat screams to me your typical average $35 to $40 condenser mic. I've made no secret of it, I'm a big fan of CAD microphones, but let's see if I'm a fan of this CAD microphone. Let's do some plosives. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. So, let's get up on it. This is how the CAD GXL 2400 will sound if you get right up on the microphone and attempt to lick it. Uh, okay, so first thoughts on this microphone. It is a cardioid polar pattern microphone. It does take phantom power. I think we all know that by now. But if you don't, hey, I just told you. This reminds me greatly of the Tascam TM80. It doesn't sound horrible, but it doesn't sound great. It does sound like a $30 to $60 range microphone. There's obviously a treble boost uh, with just this little bit of tinniness maybe maybe more of kind of i don't want to say a broadcasty sound but but there is some noticeable high in there and i think the mid sound muddy i, I think once you get underneath that treble boost it, it's kind of muddy it's the bass is real weird it's not it's not a pleasant low end and it's not very pleasant uh mids I'm not I'm not feeling pleasant about this microphone so far. Now granted it, it'll get you by. Uh this or a knee we're in W700 go go with the CAD. Go with the CAD GXL2400, but this is one of those microphones that the moment I started talking into it I was like I'm not exactly happy with my $35 purchase. I know $35 is not a lot, but I'm not very pleased that I parted with $35 for this. To me, this is uh, maybe you could get a BM800 for 10 15 Not real sure about this. Maybe it'll sound better, like I always say on the video, than it does right here, right now. But first thoughts, GXL2400. I'm going to take a hard pass on you. Pretty hard pass. Not feeling it. Let's sing into it just to see if it can change my mind for singing i guess what uh I don't, I don't know why you guys continue to want me to sing it really doesn't make a lot of sense because it's so so bad but even though i don't know the lyrics here in ohio it has rained for what seems like a year and a half so let's go to the classics and say who stop the rain I don't know any of the lyrics to that. So, we'll move on. Well, I see a bad moon rising. Da -da -da -da. I see trouble on the way. The Cat G XL 2400. 
I don't think it's worth 35 bucks any day. That was terrible tempo. Folks, if you want to know how not to tempo a song, there you go. I just told you how not to tempo it. That was quirky and offbeat and odd. Not cool like a progressive band's time signature, but just flat out odd. So, the CAD GXL 2400, right out of the right out of the gate, I'm just not impressed. I'm not happy that I spent $35 on this. I'm hoping someone else will be happy buying this for $35. If you like it, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description down below to my reverb page, this specifically. And if you would like to spend $35 on it, by all means, buy it for $35. I'm done with it. Now you can have it. So, GXL 2400. All that being said, <sighs> I am sorry, CAD, but this CAD microphone is going to get the red light. I just am not feeling it. Just, just too cheap sounding in my ears. I'd spend more time on it if it was worth it. It's not worth it. GXL 2400 if you want it. Grab it, get it off my hands, I'll send it to you. Maybe send you a little something extra. A surprise extra. That's how I sell this mic. You'll get a surprise extra when you buy this mic on Reverb from me. Make sure you message me and let me know you bought it because of the video. Or else I'll just think you're a typical Reverb user and send it to you in a paper bag. Screw mics. Peace out.